Has the target arrived at school? Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. Current status, in the bathroom, fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here! I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. In the world was that? Oh, anyways, we've got to hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that. How should we split the teams? Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight! Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Okay. Alright, we'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Oh, not in a million years! There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Let's hurry up and go. I wonder if those two will be all right. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. So... Shall we? <laughs> Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? Then we need to keep our eyes open. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I. I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> The same is true for me.
Huh? Uh, okay, if you want. Can't always answer since I help out around the inn, but feel free to call any time. Man, this is weird. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I mean them! I get, I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. Hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. <laughs> yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. He's interested in her? Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. Well, we don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. The hell are you two doing? Oh, well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. Uh, what do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in your guys' way, and, and there's nothing strange about it either. I Strange. Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait! Damn it! This ain't what you think! You, you got it all wrong! Hey! Are you listening, damn it? It seriously ain't like that! We regret to inform that our mission failed. There was nowhere to hide. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. Yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. We are not a couple. Why are you assholes following me around? Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault. But damn it! Hey, uh... Mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? 
Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face, or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm choking! Too much running. <sighs> well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Looks like we've got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. for Bad Bad Bathhouse. Tonight I'll introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak-in report. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. <sighs> well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo! Huh? <gasps> 
was that? But, damn it, it's just what we were afraid of. If only we'd held our ground and stayed there a little longer. Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Mm. At first I thought it was one of those paranormal things, but when I gave it a try, it, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned off TV on a rainy night. No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Yukiko had a show too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Um, this might be a little off subject, but... The culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Wait a sec, I bet he is enjoying it. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. to see everything about you, Yuki-chan! Wait, so if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me, too? Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face. First we save Kanji, then we crush the killer. Finally we crush the killer and send him to hell. Got it?
Ugh, I know. Hey, Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep, I think someone's here. You think? Uh, do you know where he is? I don't know. We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. Hmm, what's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this kanji person. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Something about kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji-kun personally? 